I am extremely glad that a 50 international festival being organized by the Holy College of Art and Crafts, Bhuvaneswar. I do congratulate to the Boom Board of Management, all the staff members of the college that they have been invited. You can see more than hundreds of artists from different parts of uh, India and, uh, and the different corners of uh, the world. It is a happy meeting ground of the artists and as well as it is a platform of beauty to enjoy and the share the different types of beauty in between the artists, in between the beholders. It is a platform to link up both the holder and the beholder. So, beauty is just like you can say, you can say it is such a and such an investigation which it's by the both the holder and the beholder. Since March of the art history, as we know, there are so many changes happened in in the world. Because what we were talking 100 years back, now that theory it is not actually prevailing. If prevailing, some people say that it is backdated in the name of contemporary art or visual art or modern art. The controversy in between traditional art and contemporary art, it is still in force. There is a class between these two, but we must get rid from all these bifurcation of traditional, modern or ultra-modern or contemporary. Rather, we must come to a platform that is visual art, visual conception. That means congregation of line, color, form, balance, texture, tone, rhythm. It is the play of, you can say, color, form, and line. The sectarian views is no more. It actually stands as a as a bar or you can say the egoism of you can sectarian views for example indianity or, or an european art or far eastern art or indian art or middle eastern art there is nothing no difference you don't find any difference rather an international brotherhood it has been generated with the language of visual art. Let us have it. It is a Odisha is a small state, but it is teamed with different types of art activities and culture. Right from very beginning, you must go back to even fifth century BC. Right from that till today, we are having different types of art activities, temple art or painting, mural painting, miniature painting. So all these things, when we do, we do accumulate all these things, we feel very much proud that we have our own train of art and culture. Throughout the year, we observe different types of 
cultural activities, rituals and as well as different types of art activities. Each and every, every district or every village, they have their own identity. They prove it through their, their own pleasurable use of line, color, local made color and their own deity. It is a kind of say, mixture of I can say, innocence and as well as how to respond art in the contemporary field. But whosoever going to the uplines, they do feel that I can say we are creating or generating a kind of a new art streams. But uh, personally, I do feel we should not create any kind of distinction in between modernity or traditional art or contemporary art. Art means art, if it is, you, you do feel pleasure or it gives a certain pleasure to the mind of the beholder, it is enough. You can say no modern art cannot be continued for a long time. Day will come, it will be counted as you can say traditional art. So what we call today contemporary art, after some days it may, may be outdated. But every day we are searching in the name of new ideas, new conception, contemporary ideas, both you can say engineers, doctors, scientists, artists, musicians, dramatists, filmmakers, that we have come to a single platform with a single vocabulary that we will pronounce, will enchant, will share with a good conception of uh, that is international brotherhood. Let us take a stretch of our own hands with one country to the other, India with the Thailand, Thailand with the Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe with the Middle East countries, so Brazil, so who the, I can say all the artists who are taking part in the Dhauli International Art Festival, I do congratulate them. You can say, I hope, you can, if they come to Odisha, they will have ample opportunity to see the beauty of real Odisha from different parts of Odisha, from east to west, north to south, without any barriers. Because we are very much proud that we are having excellent monuments like Konarok, Puri, Lingaraj, Mukteswar, Parsurameswar, and as well as a Rajarani temple. Then there is the holy, you can say, a historical place and contribution of the great emperor Ashok, where a great war that was actually happened there. And thereafter, this college it is named as the holy college of art and crafts as a testimony to remark, you can see the great glory of Odisha, who converted, you can say, Ashok from Chandasok to Dharmasok and propagated Buddhism all over the world. Very much, I am very much glad that you can see the authorities of the Holy College of Art and Crafts, they have invited me to take part and say, I immediately see you as a member, co-member. And I do it once again. I am very much glad and thankful to the authority. I am expressing my hearty gratitude to all the participants for a grand success of a virtual show. Thank you very much.